Hello everybody, Big Plains here. Now before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. So please be sure to go over there and support me there. So, I have not updated you in quite a long time on the 727 project or the 727. So yeah, this is quite an update in the making. And a lot of very important progress has been made since the last time you've actually seen this plane. So most of that progress is back here towards the tail, which I have finally received parts for and it's finally getting made. So first things first, there are some functions in here as the obvious battery pack would concern, but I want to show you the top before I show you anything else. So you can see here that, again, I'm going to probably go in later and uh, finalize the interior so you'll have a better view of that. But you can see this is where the engine mounts are going to be. I'll, I'll figure out ways to mount the engines. Don't worry about that. But yeah, that's where I'm going to mount them. You can see that these are the entrances where the doors are, and of course the doors will be mounted later. And I also have some interior. I'm still not sure where I'm going to put the lavatories and all that stuff. Now back here towards the tip of the tail, towards where the APU would be, you can see I'm beginning that uh, stri striping going through. So I'm going to have to bring the white up. I'm not sure if I'm going to have that vertical or I'm going to have it coming out of a bit of a horizontal angle. I don't know yet, but again, the Southwest Airlines aircraft does have some orange and red at the very, very back of the tail. So I did want to include that. Now. This is sort of the interesting part, and this is what took forever, is I finally was able to get the air stairs in the back of the aircraft here to function. So let's see how this works. Again, it's not always super reliable, but it does work most of the time. So oh, you see it's hooked up to a battery pack here. I need to switch the direction it goes, and then you can see here, when I press the button, that it does open. Now, sometimes it opens more than it should, but you know, Whatever. It's usually pretty reliable. Here, I'll show you that again. And then back down. Okay, so the way this works, and I'll show you this in a minute here, is there's actually a bit of a mechanism in there, and of course, all this will be, there'll be all sorts of tail back here, so this will all be covered up, don't worry. And this will all look very clean and sleek, and that'll just pop out. But you can see that the air stairs does show through right there, and that when you, I'm not going to do this because that requires two hands, you can walk directly through it. Now, the mechanism for that is sort of interesting, so I'm going to remove this bit right here. This just pops right off. And you can see what's going on in there. So the way this works is that we have our power functions M motor down here, right? And then I have one of these Technic actuators, which... Uh, has this little arm here, it pops in and out, and then we have sort of the mechanism for actually opening the door. So you can see here, I switch this, press the button, and it comes in. And if I want to go the other way, just flip that, like so, and out it goes. Like so, and then coming back. Like that. And then finally, if I wanted to show it one more time, it goes like this. Get a bit, bit of a different angle for you. So yeah, that's, that's how this works. It's sort of a basic mechanism, but it has indeed proven to be reliable. So I am very happy with how that's turned out. Again, I'm trying to get as many functions in here as I can. I was originally going to go with the uh, powered engines. Now, I know I mentioned that in one of the first videos I made on this plane, that I wanted to put powered engines in it. But the problem with that is that the motor for them, here's the thing. I was originally going to put this mechanism up here in the tail assembly back here. I was originally going to put this back here. But there was not enough room after you account for all the structural stuff and the interior. So I ended up having to put it down here on the bottom under the where the cargo bay would be. So there won't be any cargo bays in the back of the aircraft. There are in the front, but there's not going to be any in the back. So that's just the catch that we're going to have with this. But... I feel like this mechanism fits a lot better under the floor than the other one. And to power the engines, I was wondering why why even bother? Because they're so tiny on this plane. You can see here that they wouldn't be more than four studs wide, so you barely ever see the fan spinning. And the amount of micro-engineering that would have to go into that and just sort of it'd be very tedious and I'm not sure how reliable it would be. So I've scrapped that idea for now. I've gone instead with motorizing the air stairs, and I feel like that worked out pretty well. Again, I'm trying to pin down the accuracy of this mechanism. It usually works pretty well, like you can see here. But of course, I will polish it off even more as we build the plane. So yeah, that's really what this video is all about. That's all I really have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you 
click uh, subscribe. Hope you like this video. And yes, my Patre Patreon is down in the description below. So if you want to go support me there, that is always appreciated. So I have, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye for now.